The second row on the grid of cards is called card identification. And what you can do is just use the cards from ace to 10 again and just split them in half or you can teach them about dealing. So they've got to get exactly the same amount, but that's okay. Mr. A, you have those. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn over a card and I say, do you have one of those, Mr. A? Yeah, and I think it's an eight. I think it's an eight. So he looks through his cards and sees and if he has one that looks the same. An eight. And then we can check by counting and matching. And you just go through the deck like that just to get kids used to recognising numerals and being able to have the opportunity to, to count how many that actually is. Because it's not just the number, because eight isn't just that, it's about how many are in that. The short way of writing lots of those hearts, isn't it, Mr. A? It is, it is. The next one is, you turn this over, and I'll take your cards back, mm -hmm. and you just shuffle them, and it's how many more to 10? So if you'd like to turn oh. over the first card. Okay. How many more cards do you, uh, how many more will it take to get to 10, Mr. Well, A? I have a four, and I know four plus six is 10, so oh. I need six. So you'd need six. A five, a five, and one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I would need five. Mm -hmm. So, of course, don't discourage kids from using their fingers to help them get to 10, because, they're, of course, they're our easiest mobile counters. Mm -hmm. Excellent. The next one is, hmm, Mr. A, we're going to need a dice again. Right. And this one says to, you You can roll the die and I'll flip right. the card and we have to, and you can make it into a game if you like. So you roll the die, I turn over a card, ready, set, go, add them together, five. Ha ha, <laughs> counter for me. <laughs> And do it again. Thanks, Mr. A. You're ready. You can take it in turns. You, you can, I'll roll oh, this okay. time and then right. you flip. Ready, go. Six. Brain's on fire now. Your turn to roll, my turn to flip. Okay. Ready, set, go. Three. Ah, uh -huh, four. Oh, we're not, we're not multiplying. Right. <laughs> Even if you were multiply, I'm, I'm sorry, yes, of course, <laughs> you could do that. There's another one for it. So that's how you'd go through that one. Now, this one is the salute. And what players do is draw, and seeing as Mr. A and I are both so camera happy, is not <laughs> into this i'll just show you so these would be on the foreheads of you'd hold them up on your forehead and you have a third person tell you what the sum of those two cards are which is 19 19 so if i had the nine on my forehead and the third person has told me the tally is 19 i can see the other person has a 10 so then I'd have to be able to work out what's uh, 10 less than 19 will give me what is my card. And it's the first person. It's a speed sort of one. You can do this the same and you could, for the next level, and you could multiply or say that, um, say that each one represents 10. So that would be 100 and that would be 90. So the tally... I would be 190, so you'd have to work out what's 100 less than 190. I still have to say nine, because my nine is representing nine tens. So that's another way to mix that one up.